Hate is instilled in us mostly by other people, but life truly is simple once you surpass the smoke screen. United, we're stronger, and divided, we're playing right into the puppet master's plan. You're not fighting each other. You are more aware and focused on what's going on around you. And then you see what the shady authorities are doing, and they don't want that. If they got people fighting each other, you ain't worried about what other other shit. You're you're trying to save your life. You know, the good going out there still stabbing people. So I see my the expert we filed uh, we hired on the phone. That the expert on the on the wiretaps. On, on, on the, the data, the data from the wiretaps, and it, it blew me away what he told me. Then I just, it was, it's way worse than I thought. I never believed the government was so corrupt. This DEA, this DEA agent that that investigated our case, this dude is a, he's a hinky, cold liar, man. That's been known to do this in other cases. But what happens is, this is the thing, where, and this is where they messed up coming to get the brothers in the out of state prison. We're already doing life sentences, but see. They mostly get people from the streets. 99% of the cases are from the streets. And then if, what people are facing, and there's a book called, uh, uh, I, I forgot the name of the book, that, but the, the ex Hells Angel, George Christie, put it out. And he spoke about this same exact thing. They, the government is using, they, they fabricate these stories against you, and you're facing so much time. And uh, you can lose your house. Even if you got a legitimately on other thing, and you just get something, one little, one little thing, they, they, they can take your house from that. People don't know that. Even if you buy your house legitimately, if you get doing something or someone use your automobile who's selling drugs and your son or something, they can tell you everything you own. Know, even if you've got a legitimacy. But people don't know that. But I, I, when he was telling me about the hickey stuff, this DEA agent that he's been on other cases that were involved in, if he, what happens is people from the street are facing so much time, they always end up giving them, a, they always end up t taking a deal. And they, the hinky stuff, the illegal stuff that they do is never brought to the surface because you have to file the stuff in court. For It's not illegal or, or it's not shady unless you bring it up in court and it, the judge sees what you did and makes a, makes a statement on it. So but if people take a deal, they just brush that shit right under the rug and it goes away. So I was talking to this section. He was saying almost every case that he's involved involved in, even when he's seen some kinky, illegal stuff that didn't add up, the people that were fighting the case, they ended up taking the deals, and it never it was never litigated. It was never brought to the surface. So I told him, I told him today that leave that. We're going to leave up my code of that left, not those rats, Mazda and Burhoff and Sammy Keaton. But I'm talking about the, 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 my code of that are left. We're going to fight this to the end, and we're going to put this Frank Spokes in there. We're going to, we're going to, every lie that these people told, we're going to let the, we're going to let the, the judge judge it, and we're going to let the public see it. And it's going to be out there for everybody to watch. They ain't going to take no word for it. They're going to see what's followed with the government and what they did and what they do to people and how they get convictions. We're going to blow, we're going to blow this stuff up out of the water. This is the massive, this is what he keeps saying it's a massive case. Because of all the phone data that they got from just cycles four phones from the street that he had for years, all the calls, all the calls, all the, everything that he ever made, it's just, it's, it's, it's terabytes of information that you could even fill up this whole section right here. He said that if you photocopied, it would be, it would be more photocopies of every page in the book in the, the Library of Congress. That's how much data it is. And so, but he, he, he categorizes, categorizes it all through algorithms. And that's how he keeps track of it. But that's where they said that the five, the five tracks of trailers full of paperwork would come if we put it in the paperwork. So that's, that's what they were talking about. So that's the massive case. It's not really actual case stuff that we was led to believe. It's the information, the data information, locations, cell towers, you know, all that is in there. And so that's where all that... I finally found out, you know, after two years, that's what the information I'm talking about. But they made it to, made us believe that was, you know, real paperwork, you know, like evidence in a, you know, a, a, evidence they, they came across, but it's not true. The whole case is the wiretap phone calls that are, that, that, that there's just a 
got 25 phone calls that look funny because you can't really tell what people say. It's just he just interpreted what it was. But wholesale, they, they, you know, they recorded our phone calls, and it's against the law to do that. They tell them at the beginning of the in the introduction of the uh, wiretap, uh, Title Three wiretap, that you do with his wife. You do not. They they just they. They recorded all the entire conversation. 45 minutes I'm talking to you. They recorded. We're not talking about nothing but lucky dummy stuff. They said they recorded. That's, that's against the law. So we're gonna, that's going to be in there. I, I let black dudes, white, uh, Mexican dudes use my phone. They recorded it. talking to their moms and sisters and brothers and old ladies. It, 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 they knew even if it wasn't me and they still recorded their phone calls. That's illegal. I just every single thing. And I told that dude, you know, I, I have to say that I'm, I'm still shocked that I go, dude, how is this, how this play goes? Oh, yeah, they do that in every case. I'm like, you're kidding me. I go, man, I go, I'm mad at myself for being so naive to believe that all the hype that you hear on TV about the, the integrity of the Congress and the, the DEA, they throw, held to a higher standard. They're scumbag liars, man. And he goes, I'm, I'm telling the dude, just like, I'm glad. I did on so many cases, and especially with this one DEA agent who I know is a scumbag. He goes, I'm so glad that you guys want to take this to the very end. He goes, we're going to expose his ass. So, Wait, 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 but the, the public's going to see. And I told them, I, we have a, we have an obligation to, to, to uncover this shit because they'll just keep doing it to everybody. If everybody takes a deal, just give me three years and, you know, they get a conviction, everybody gets pat on the back, everybody gets paid, and then they just use you as a pawn, right? I'm like, no, we're, we're going to put all that shit, right? We're going to throw all the skeleton bones on the, on the table and see what, see what we come up with. And he goes, this shit's so phony. He goes, it, it only makes me believe. And I really don't know all the details about your case, but he goes, you, he goes, I know who you are. I mean, I know what you say in the papers, and I, I know you were part of the hunger strike. He goes, they, you were targeted to get rid of you to the feds because it, you had too much influence bringing people together. This dude, this is the phone expert told me that. And we'll, we'll see. We'll, from the very beginning, of, oh, they screamed that I was facing a death penalty. Let's see if I either, let's see if they either charge me with a death penalty case. It's always facing a potential death penalty. Where is it? I've been here two years. I haven't even charged me. I experienced Let's go with it. This case is so phony. They know they've had the evidence, but we can't have it. Why do you think that is? Because it's, fo- it's funny. And in the meantime, how many articles have came out on us since we've been here in the two years? This and that, white supremacists, the murder of Jan was ordering this. I'm not charged with none of that. I, I haven't seen no evidence of that. There is no evidence of that because it's not true. And see, what's going to happen is later on down the line, it's, it, it's going to go away and it, 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 there's going to be no blip on the radar about none of that. We're just going to send us back to prison. And then, uh, although a freak on the road to say, oh, uh, uh, in the interest of justice uh, because of the money or something, you know, after they just bat these souls on the back for all these years, they're taking down the, these groups of people. It's, it's, all, it's all publicity stunt. Exactly what we've been saying, sweetheart. It's the same thing that George, I just read that George Christie book. I was like, blown away. I mean, literally said the same thing. They charged you. They 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 got us. Hey, when they couldn't get him on a couple weeks ago, then they got his wife and kids and, and his family members. And then you know they tried to take take his house and they just tried to do all kinds of shit to depress him into taking a deal, to pleading guilty to things that he didn't do, making him miserable, put him in a shoe took everything from him and put him in isolation. Like, well, oh, we, we can let you go if you, uh, you let your family go if you just plead guilty to all this. That's, that's, what, that's what they're doing. That's what they're trying to do. They already shook them three rats out of the bushes here. Keaton, Mazza, and Burhoff. And so they, they think that they're, they're waiting for some more people to see. Because then, if, if the case goes away, they already crushed these dudes. These dudes, they, they already tapped out. Confessed to whatever they wanted to confess to and just to get out of here. They're not here no more. See, they... They now don't tell the government anything they want just for the relief of leaving here. Sure, everybody knows about our videos. I mean, everybody knows about all that shit. I mean, we, 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 remember I told her, I told the lawyers right when we first got I caught this case that we we, we, were, we had that out. They know now. They actually know now that we were targeted. Now all these, like I told you, all the guys that are here from the other prisons were doing the same thing I was. But all the people that that they feel that they could control or that was, you know, that they didn't have to worry about. Uh, they, that, that's that's the, who they left behind, and then they they indicted the people that they believe that was they didn't want they don't want people to come together. I don't know how how else to say it. They do not want prisoners of all races getting along. Whether it doesn't matter because once you get along, you're not fighting each other. You are more aware and focused on what's going on around you, 
and then you see what the shady authorities are doing, and they don't want that. If they got people fighting each other, you ain't worried about whatever other shit. You're you're trying to save your life, and you're good going out. And you're still stabbing people. Well, you know they're getting a hundred hundred thousand dollars per. Uh inmate in california now did you know that back when back when you were in the shoe they were only getting 70 to eighty thousand per person for the shoe and that was big cost because it was only 50 it was 35 to fifty thousand per regular state inmate now a regular state inmates a hundred thousand well wait a minute and so and then you went from a hundred and thirty thousand prisoners down to what was eighty eighty thousand so so the population went tens of thousands down but yet the cost of uh, this year went up how did that happen? You win, you, you got thousands, tens of thousands, like 30,000, 35,000 less inmates, but yet the price of the housing went up. Because it's, it's a scam. The, 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 B, the BOP, even though they're getting rid of they want their money. 80, I seen in the thing, it said that 80, 80, 87% of the budget, $16 billion, goes in the pockets of the guards. They think about it, right? You may see, you see guards, guards and that all goes to overtime pay. And if the average guard could just have a GED and make over $100,000 a year overtime. <laughs> Come on, man. In 10 years, you could be a millionaire. Being a guard, turning the key. Yeah, oh yeah, they, that's a straight scam. They scammed, they scammed, uh, they, they scammed the, the public on that. And it's in there, and they're, they're exposing it in the paper, but you don't hear people are so busy with their lives. They, a lot of people don't see that. And they're just, they're, they're, they're so beat down and so, they're so distracted by the bullshit news and shit. They're not really seeing what the, the you know, the, the, the meat of the problem, man. It's just, it, I, how do they do that? They're closing four prisons. They got 35,000 less prisoners. In, in one year, they got rid of all them, but yet the price of housing in prison went up exponentially. How that? How, how, that's, the, that's, that's the manipulators manipulating the politicians, getting bigger budgets. We need this and we need that. Just going in the, just going in the, the guard's pocket. But, the, but it seems like the people, the people are just, they, they're not catching that until they become a target. They're taking people's houses. I mean, they, you could just get a, a you, if you have a son, if you let him borrow your car or, or you, you let him, you, He's renting a room for you, or you're letting him stay in your house, and he had drugs in, your, in his bedroom, or maybe he sold something to his friend. They could take your house for that. I don't, I don't care. They, people, oh, no, I, I bought this, one. I've worked all my life, and that, they don't matter. There's a law now that if you, if your house is being used to sell a narcotic, they could take your house. Even if you didn't know your son was doing it, or your uncle, or your brother, you let your brother stay open, you let, you, you, he didn't have all, so you let your brother stay in one of the back rooms, and he's, he's selling drugs, and he busts them, got some stash in his, in his drawer. And you're going to lose your house for that. And that's what it's all about. That's what they're, that's what's going on. That's why they fabricate all these cases. They get these informants to say what they want, and they're just cleaning up. They're out of control, man. They're out of control. That book I'm reading, man, is about mass incarceration. The fuck that I just like I told, just like I put that little thing on the thing that the cops in the S and Y and the informants on the street are running the drug trade. I mean, and the cops are running the drug trade. And just and, and this book in that book in that book of Jim, uh, that, uh, new Jim Crow, he explained to me there that they militarized the police department and given millions of dollars of budgets spent back on the war on drugs. That's why they got all those military equipment, tanks and all that shit. And then they, they pass the laws that they give them the right to confiscate people's property without due process or nothing. So that's why they, they just, it's millions and millions of dollars in cars that they just bullshit, uh, traffic violations, they pull people over there, take their cars. Uh, just, it just, it's, it's organized crime through the cops because they, they're taking people's houses and they, they don't got to justified or not they just people you know they just take the house for a little small little thing and then they you know the cops the actual cops not that the budget or nothing the cops keep the shit you know like the captain oh it's your turn to take this house it might just be what people said over the phone that they, that prosecutors gonna put it in the courtroom but i'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be that footage of me smacking that cop but the cops but just do blind butter when we don't know. I got a, I got a statement from him, a declaration that was put on, I'm putting on my kids that he's I've never met him, never talked to him. There's no evidence from none of us ever, we never even heard of these deals. And that's, the, that's what they're saying. They keep putting this shit in the, in the baby, you, you recorded me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're dirty, boy. You're dirty, baby. You're not.
Then wherever you go or we go, we must get everyone on board even against any resistance that we're sure to face. And I assure you, when it's all said and done, we'll have true power and together we'll walk right out of these prisons. Thank you. This is the speech I gave my fellow prisoners. Thank you.